Built in 1899 by the McDonald Manufacturing Company, the four-story 401 Richmond Street complex was designed by architect John Wilson Sedal to be the first factory for lithography on tinware in Canada. The company prospered for almost 70 years, but after its closure in 1967, 401 Richmond became neglected. That was until a watershed moment in 1994, comprising more than 250,000 square feet of space, Margaret Seidler envisioned an urban renewal opportunity that would reclaim the building's original architecture while creating a mixed-use cultural hub and home for a diverse pool of tenants. Today, 401 Richmond Street is an iconic address, a cultural beacon, one that is guided by a synergy of community, culture, and commerce. More than just affordable space in Toronto's urban core, 401 is a family of creative small businesses and not-for-profit organizations working alongside and with each other. Okay, well, uh, this is the Bozo Gallery. So we're a commercial, one of the only, what, two commercial galleries in the building. There's artist co-ops, uh, member galleries, and like photo galleries. It's the nice like array of different types of galleries. A lot of people come for say, Tal Gallery or Gallery 44, but they drop in and they get to see a nice variety. So it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic part about being part of the 401 Richmond community. Open Studio is a contemporary fine art printmaking center, and we're actually the largest tenant here at 401. And we have the front, which are the two main galleries that are open to the public. We also have a shop. We've got 5,000 square feet of studio space, and um, it's really meant to be a fine art production space for artists who are practicing printmakers. Community is kind of like the core essential of what Open Studio is, and 401 Richmond allows us to continue offering that kind of sense. Our organization is PH1. Uh, it's a collaborative work between Melissa and myself. Melissa being an encaustic painter and myself being a photographer. We've combined our work to create unique paintings that are uh, encaustic photo transfer. Majority of our work is inspired by the idea of memory and nostalgia. The great thing about this building is that it opens its doors to the public. It's basically the community aspect of this building that actually drew us in in, in the first place. So I'm the festival and operations manager for the Toronto Real Asian International Film Festival. Uh, we are Canada's premier presenter of contemporary Pan-Asian cinema. We have a lot of opportunity to do um, collaborative work with other arts-minded organizations. Um, and it gives a real hotbed of activity uh, where you're constantly coming up with ideas on how to work together. We are Canada's first access center disability arts organization, and we operate Tangled Art Gallery. Access and inclusion at the core of our curatorial uh, and programming decisions, and we program artists who are deaf, mad, and disability identified. The 401 Richland Street building is very singular in the way it operates. It really offers affordable space for galleries and arts organizations to operate with their morals and their values at the center. We founded VTAPE in, uh, we started it in 1982 and we were incorporated in 83. So we were, we were in the early group, the earliest group to occupy the fourth floor. It's so much more reassuring to mm -hmm. be in a mixed use mm -hmm. building. This right. is really like a community. Yeah. Once you got here, you really felt like you were in uh, with like-minded people. The Creator Launch Prize is a one-year residency at 401 Richmond, and I've had the honor of being the 2018-2019 recipient. And I'm the 2019-2020 recipient. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to, you know, getting the benefit of making artwork in this beautiful, iconic building in downtown <laughs> Toronto. Well, my art practice is mainly focused on painting. I think I'm exploring the idea of one's own being as a participant in the world. As a painter, I've been working on these figurative works and portraits that really dig into a lot of, like, my memory, and experience of growing up in Hamilton and Toronto. From its range of public presenter spaces and lush rooftop garden to the innovative urban space gallery and in-building daycare, 401 is a vibrant and eclectic destination. And each year, 401 hosts a program of free public events, 
like Art Hunt, a family-friendly occasion that sends participants around the historic space searching for original artworks. Doors Open, a City of Toronto initiative which provides an opportunity to see inside some of the most architecturally, culturally, and socially significant buildings. Sparty, an annual block party exclusively for the employees of buildings in the city block and Nuit Blanche, a 12-hour spectacle during which 401 teams with dynamic and interactive exhibitions, installations, and performances. This unique facility has offered room for creation, action, reflection, and growth. But as the place evolves, it remains true to its founding vision, one that encourages the coexistence of culture and commerce while fostering a profound sense of community.